Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another video. So I wanted to show you how these dried from um, my life painting night using the new prism pour colors. We had done a ring pour, a swipe, and I believe a straight pour. Anyway, you can see they dried beautifully. I'm going to resin them next. Uh, I made a little faux pas, though. <laughs> I forgot these were wood. And I used silicone and te technically what I do is I will wash my paintings off really good when I use silicone. But these are wood and they're going to warp. So I'm going to have to take some rubbing alcohol, wipe them down the best I can, and then, um, you know, resin them. It's going to reject, but it's for my room, so I'll let it reject and do another coat really quick. But anyway... These letters mean nothing, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm making a sign. If you didn't join me that night, I'm making a sign that says happy pouring for my room. And these were just three of the letters that I grabbed to do that night. So this was the swipe, um, the straight pour, and the ring pour. So I just wanted to show those that had joined how well the paints had dried. So that's that. So let's move on to today's video. How would you like to be involved in helping me design my happy pouring sign for my studio? Comment below what technique I should do on this letter P and the technique with the most votes will be taught on this channel. Today's video is all about this little guy. So Tracy Reed from Tracy Reed Designs creates a 3D pouring apparatuses and she sent this to me I want to try it out um, I believe it's supposed to make flowers but I'm going to do something different with it uh, so you would pour your paint into the center and it spouts out the sides creating the petals and then you would lay your napkin over you know your typical flower dip I want to try something different though I want to have the paint coming out of these holes and spinning the canvas at the same time to see if I can get some crazy cyclonic spiral looking painting. What else is really cool is she sent me um, a cup that she made with her 3D printer. It's reusable, obviously, to do your pouring, like your straight pours or your dirty pours or your flip cup, whatever you need cups for. This is the bigger size, but she also has little ones. This is them here for your little mini flip cups or your smaller canvases. And you know what? Flip them over. They'll also work for a paint stand. So dual purpose, right? So those. And then these things, which I found pretty interesting, um, they're stir sticks, reusable stir sticks. So because they have the holes in them, I was talking to Tracy and she says that it tends to make mixing a little bit easier. And, you know, something I'm thinking about resin, because resin will peel off of these. Um, I bet you this will help a lot with resin mixing. So I'm going to try them out. We'll see how everything goes. So stick with me. That's coming up next. Alrighty, so colors I am using are as follows. Cobalt teal. Then I have 24K here. Look at how beautiful this stick looks. I have here is... Oh, the muted violet, which looks very red on screen right now. And then I have, well, I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. I didn't, <laughs> I had to thicken it up in another cup because I had made it too thin. Here it is. This is blue violet. 
all right? And then I have some white, which is from Blick. And let me tell you something, if you need to replace your Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White because it's giving you a hard time, that is the one to use. It works beautifully. My paints are all mixed with pouring medium today, no Floetrol. Artist Loft Pouring Medium, it works awesome for cells, especially when you add a few drops of silicone to your colors like I'm going to be doing. I'm going to add just about two drops to this guy, this guy, and that guy. All right. We'll leave it out of the gold. I know some people put silicone in their metallics. I don't know. I don't like the way that it reacts with them. Now, yes, it does technically touch the metallic when you're pouring but not to mention you can literally put a couple of drops in one color and you'll get some effects you don't need all that silicone so give it a few swirl throughs with your stick just like that and how i mixed these colors were because i used soft body or fluid paints i put some pouring medium in the cup however much paint I wanted to make, in this case, three quarters of a cup. I filled it three quarters of a cup with this, added some, a few drops of this, and it's the perfect consistency. No need to add water, okay? You want your paints to be between a three and a four on the consistency chart. If you're new to my channel, go in the description. You're gonna see a link that says free consistency chart. You can go to that link, which takes you to porescraperepeat.com. That is Mark Gilday Art's website, who also happens to have a YouTube channel. You should check him out. And he's the one that sells the Puffy and all the, the other 3D tools that I've shown on this channel. These here are Tracy Reed Designs. Um, so if you're interested in these, I'm going to put her link in the description below. But anyway, the, the chart specifically I'm talking about. You could print out that chart for free. Put your paints, I'll show you one of them right now. Put your paints in the little circle, each of your colors. So you would put the teal, the blue violet, the gold, and the muted violet, and the white in these circles. Hold it up, count to five. One, two, three, four, five, you know. And your paints should land between a three and a four. If they go further, they're too thin. If they go higher, they're too thick, all right? Thick paints can cause cracking if you don't thin them down, or if your paints are the right consistency and they crack, it's because you're leaving too much on the canvas, okay? You gotta tilt. Here's the white that I buy through Blick. It's called Blackout White. It's absolutely fantastic. So for something like this, or the soft body paints that I used today, or if you're using something like an Amsterdam, a Liquitex, or a Pebio, what you're going to do is put a half a teaspoon of paint in the cup if you're making little cups like this, and you're slowly going to add pouring medium in it until it's the right consistency, okay? That's all I did. I didn't add water or anything, just the pouring medium and the paints. So for those of you that struggle with consistency, if I were you and I had a pouring medium, no matter the brand, if I had a pouring medium, what I would do is I would put some in a cup and I would get a fluid kind of paint like this and mix it together. That will teach you what the right consistency is. Not to, It'll help you by letting you feel what the right consistency is okay because I added no water that will teach you that all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my gloves on I'm going to mix this silicone in to these couple of colors and we're going to try this crazy idea I have here <laughs> what will happen I do not know this is an 11 by 14 oval canvas by the way okay so let's get started 
So here's how this is going to go. I'm going to take my 3D cup that Tracy made for me and that you can also buy through her Etsy shop. And I'm going to fill it up as a layered cup. So it's kind of big, but it'll work. I'm going to put some white in there first. Then I'm going to come back with my colors and start layering them in with a little bit of white in between the colors. And then we're going to try, try, try our best to pour it into that tiny hole. So here's a little bit of the gold going on top of that blue. Let me remove these sticks before I have a very big accident here. Next, I'm going to come in with the muted violet. Pour a little bit of that in there. The quinacridone blue violet and then white. So I'm going to do a bunch of little layers in this cup in that exact order. All right, you ready for Dumb Idea 2,859 million from Tammy? <laughs> Here, let's surround this with a little white. Let's see what happens here. I don't think I can spin this at the same time, but let me get it going first, okay? Oh, that's a lot harder than you think. What I need is my kiddo out here doing this for me. <laughs> so you can see it makes... Petal shapes, if that's what you're after. I'm not after petal shapes. Obviously, I've put in silicone, too. Well, now that was fun. That was fun. And we used all of the paint. Now this is not going to be a flower. Again, so let's not concentrate on that horrific design right now. <laughs> what I do want to do is I want to add some white. Like that. that you see those big gob stopper cells that is the artist soft pouring medium that's what it does absolutely love that stuff can't even not tell you how much I love that stuff Alrighty, let's put that down there. And let's just give it a good spin and see what happens here. Wow! Oh, 
holy crap, look at those things. Now that is, that is a cell. <laughs> Let's lift this off of here. See what we're looking at. Now that is cool. And what's even cooler now is if I torch this, what's going to happen? I mean, this paint does some crazy, crazy stuff. But how can... Look at this. I have a freaking frog in there. I have never, ever had such a pronounced image in my artwork. And there's even another one here, kind of. But look at that. Come on. So the cool thing is, is that I've tilted enough off by spinning it. I don't have to touch it. My question to myself, though, is, is where do I want to torch this sucker? Because there's a lot of magic waiting in there. So, if I go right along, look at that. Do you see that? Watch over here. That is just so cool. And that would happen throughout the whole painting if I wanted to. I just don't know if I want that many cells. I think I might just do these outer edges. <gasps> I forgot about Froggy. Oh, no. Froggy's going bye-bye. But this Froggy's still here. Not for long. Come on, people. You, you've got to look at this little guy. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Now this is a unique pour, right? It doesn't look like anything you've ever seen before out there. Do I wish the white was a little more wider here? I mean, I could put some more white in there, I guess. Oh, this is so cool. All this time my uh, butane is running. All right, so I think I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to just fill in that center there. And how I'm going to do that is by hopefully scraping enough paint together here just to fill in the center. And then I'll give that a nice little torch. Let's take this gold, just like this, on a stick. That is one cool painting. Maybe add a little teeny tiny bit of white in there. That is super cool. I mean, who needs the bloom technique when you have this coolness you could be making, right? Let's just torch that inner center there. We'll get some cells to come up in there. Look at that. And this is closing up, so I'm okay with that. So I'm going to give you a close-up, and then I'm going to get this the heck out of this tray so it will stay like this, all right? And the colors, how they blended together, just made this really beautiful teal color. It's, it's really pretty together. So let's look for some magic, shall we? 
see what we can find. There's what's left of Froggy. Wow. You know, I still get amazed at these paints when I when I use that pouring medium. I still get amazed at what it does. I've loved that pouring medium from the minute I've used it. I don't use it all the time because I don't do these types of pours all the time. But man, I think I'm I'm going to be starting to do more. And then if I can incorporate some resin work into them too, oh, it will be beautiful. So that is the video for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, here's another face. Please click like. <laughs> please subscribe. Please comment and please share. Um, all the links are in the description. If you want to try out that pouring medium, you got to get that at Michael's. I am just in love with this painting. <laughs> I can't even concentrate right now. But that little spinner thingy was fun. So if you're interested in any of those tools, I will put Tracy Reed's link in the comments or in the description. I'm sorry. Alrighty. Hey, listen, I wish you nothing but the best and happy pouring.